Okay, so, balloon boost. Yeah, no problem. Balloon boost. Uh, the idea of this technique is that Ronald is in balloon state. The game stops checking what platforms he's on, because normally he's supposed to be floating around. And what happens is it only checks the ground beneath him when he is moving down in balloon state. Any other time, it just makes the assumption that he's either in the air or on whatever last platform he was on. The result of this is you can attach yourself to a moving platform and inherit its velocity. For purposes of demonstration, I'm going to turn on a infinite balloon time cheat. So I'm not doing any inputs as you can see in the top left. Um, like if I do left, right, left, right, up, down, you see right there. Um, all I do is I tap down and nothing else as far as, I don't press down again. Um, again, you see that the screen is uh, swaying back and forth and this is because the, th the game thinks that Ronald is on this platform. I can actually prove this because if I tap down, the game again tries to figure out where he is and uses its last assumption of his platform, which is or sorry, his uh, Y position, which is on this platform. I just tap down and I pop back up. And over there. So, the reason that this is relevant for speedrunning is, as you can see, I can go pretty fast when I am on a rotating platform. Like, this is a lot faster than normal balloon, balloon speed. But as you can see, when I uh, start getting to certain edges of the rotating platform, it starts to slow down. So what we're going to do is we're going to approach this moving platform, pick up some velocity from it, and then keep moving right so we unload the platform during a time when I am at maximum X velocity. Like this. And as you can see, I'm just carrying that velocity. This is, of course, with infinite bloom time, so you can't normally fling that far. If I turn off infinite bloom time, however, you can get a more accurate demonstration of what it does. Now, you notice about here, it's when the balloon pops and I stop moving fast. That's because every time the balloon pops, or basically any time Ronald enters or exits balloon state, his velocity is completely reset. Um, and then it goes back to being based off of whatever inputs you have. Uh, he is treated as off the platform. So the setup I have that I've found that, I've, that is most consistent and saves the most time is lining up with this pillar right here where this uh, little like warning thing is, right on here. It's more specifically the right edge of it. Like right here is where we want to initiate the balloon that we're going to use to boost off of this rotating platform. So if you're just moving right, right around there. This will give you the most amount of time for doing balloon boost. So what are the inputs? All right, right here, this is a little bit too high, but I'm going to kind of go frame by frame here. We want to position ourselves so we are on top of this center part of this moving platform, sort of the axis of it, because that is the part of the platform that is most consistently treated as a solid ground. When the platform is rotating like this, some parts of the ends are treated as not a platform temporarily, and this is to create the effect of Ronald sliding off the platform. If they didn't lose collision periodically, uh, he would be able to just sit on any of these individual sections. But this uh, middle section is always treated as ground, so that's the part we want to aim for. Anyway, we're pressing down, and you don't have to do it for very long, because as long as you don't press another down input for a while, Ronald will be treated as on the platform, inherit the velocity, and I'm just going to unfreeze and hold right. All right, let's see how I get in real time. We're gonna float up, tap down, and hold right. We cannot do any other down inputs. If we do a down input, you will teleport back to the Y position that the game thinks you're on. This can be good if you wanna do a transfer. Um, 
Tass apparently drops and teleports up and uses this one. This vertical platform is actually a lot f it, sorry, it can generate a lot more move, uh, horizontal movement if you catch it on the right rotation. Uh, and this is because the reason um, the reason it's a little bit faster is these ones, as you can see, are moving left. If I were to attach to this th platform as it's moving right, let's get uh, infinite bloom time on again. All right, so if we wait for this to uh, move right and I attach to it, then. get a lot of speed off of this. And just to sort of demonstrate how fast I'm going, if I can get Ronald off the bottom of the screen. The platform has unloaded at this point. I don't think I can actually because I'm moving down so fast. Yeah, I'm gonna reset my velocity. Alright, so once the platform is unloaded, you can, I'm not pressing anything right now, and you can sort of see how Ronald is drifting up and to the left. This is the result of his inherited velocity. The platform is reloaded, and now I have its velocity again. And it's unloaded because I went too, right, too far right again. But the fact that I'm drifting right, that is how much extra speed I have. As you can see, I sluggishly move left, but if I move right, it's Ronald's walk speed plus the inherited velocity. So in an ideal situation, what we want to do is have as much X velocity as possible when the platform unloads. Or alternatively, we can also uh, we can also just have a platform that is already going fast to the right and just use that one. Just for fun, I'm going to demonstrate another use case, and I guess a sort of a nice proof of the principle behind Balloon Boost. Uh, and that's best demonstrated in C. So let's jump to C. So there's a lot of platforms on here that behave in a certain way when Ronald is standing on them. Um, specifically this, this cloud right here, you'll notice how it vanishes. We balloon boost off of this, the game thinks that Ronald is still on that platform. As you can see, the cloud keeps disappearing. As far as the game knows, Ronald is on that platform. Even though he obviously isn't. You can do the same thing with these boats. Normally they kind of sink down a little bit when Ronald's in them. You don't have to push it on the bottom, so you can just uh, do that. But you notice I haven't done any down inputs, so I haven't reset my position. Or the game hasn't checked again what platform Ronald's actually on. If I can do it down, pops back up. I do this on my runs for fun on this platform over here. What I do is I tap onto the bottom of the boat and float over here. When the cutscene triggers, Ronald teleports back to where he should be. Because, for again, for all intents and purposes, Ronald is at that position in the boat. Uh, the difference is the game hasn't checked where he actually is anymore. It's just assuming. So that's Balloon Boost. Um, overall, this saves about 50-ish frames. Uh, if you just do the transfer on the left here, this one, uh, in an ideal world where you could maintain this velocity the entire time, you're looking at more like, uh, you know, well over 150. But the problem is, uh, again, when Balloon pops, his velocity is reset. Anyway, that should be sufficient for an explanation of Balloon Boost. Um, hope this was useful.